All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Metavax, which is apparently a Minesweeper twin stick roguelike. Uh, it's one of those games that uh, my friends started all buzzing about, and I figured I'd had to try it out myself. But it looks like it's some kind of like you're you're playing as I'm assuming like a drug or a cure or whatever, trying to cure a disease in a person. But the gameplay is yeah, Minesweeper roguelike. Anyway, we're Durbovax. If it'll let me. There we go. Durbovax. Choose my laboratory. Delta. Gortolux. Oh, I see. 5% on each samples, even failed ones. Start with plus 2 health. Reach 75% infection on a sample to unlock. Validate a sample to unlock. Destroy 100 molecules. Let's go with the extra health for the time being. Duh. Select a sample. Okay. This is interesting and kind of horrifying, and the CRT filter is throwing me off a little bit. Okay. Oh. Okay, it is a twin stick shooter. Oh, I'm good. I'm absolutely going to die here. Can I play this uh, keyboard and mouse? Yes, I can. Okay, that's gonna help a lot. How much HP do I have? Almost none. But that's okay, because now I can control myself. Those bubbles look bad. So, it doesn't really look like I'm I'm playing Minesweeper so much as... I see. Okay, so effectively... You can kind of track... Uh -oh. Okay. You can kind of track where enemies are going to be. Based on my Minesweeper logic. Alright, I dig it. i obviously, you know, on the cusp of death and I should probably just start over. But, e Let's see. But at the same time, I don't know. I... One health in a dream. All you need is one. I'm just really curious if there's some kind of, like, cool progression system that goes along here. Uh, power-ups or otherwise. I guess we'll have to find out as we go along. I am very weak and very killable. Ow. Okay, no, it didn't kill me. No! Oh! Was that... Did they just, like, outright disappear there? Maybe there was an enemy with something special. Infection spread. Oh. Oh. This is frankly going absolutely poorly for me, though. These enemies are very hard. I probably made it so much harder on myself. Okay, there's one. Yeah, here's the problem. Because everything wraps around. Oh, got lucky. Thank you, shield. Okay. Yeah, because everything wraps around, I often get absolutely trapped and there's just no room to avoid and the enemies are very aggressive. <sighs> um... Can I start over? I'm gonna cancel this project. This one ain't working. There's, go there's gotta be a better w way for me to do this. Okay. 5% progress on each samples, even failed ones. Extra choices on evolution. Let's go with, uh, Bromoro. It's probably not going to help, but who knows? So, I have to pick a winner right from the get-go. 17% seems really promising. 16, but it's tiny. Let's go 17, but it's big. I, I think I'm starting to understand how this works.
Okay, I need a bigger environment to fight in. Otherwise, I'm in trouble. Okay, big issue is I don't have as much health as I did previously. Gosh darn it. Yeah, I need a win here. Okay. We're kind of handling it. I need I need a win here, otherwise I'm just going to be in trouble. Okay, here we go. Oh, I haven't seen some of these pieces before. <laughs> Never mind. I have seen them. There we go. Those guys go invisible. Which is just the stinkiest. There we go. I didn't notice that one lurking. Okay, so far so good. Yeah, those green guys exploding are gnarly. And yeah, this bigger environment is giving me a lot more room to potentially maneuver. So at least these guys don't teleport. Okay, there we go. Yeah, they just go stealth. Probably that one. Okay, these are the ones that teleport and go stealth. Potentially shields up. Okay. I've only got a couple left. So, unfortunately, it also seems like... The bigger the zone, the more dots I have to clear. So it is it is a trade-off. Oh, yeah, because it makes sense. It's a percentage. I just have to make sure I don't trap myself. And I keep a pretty comfortable line of escape. All right. So far, so good. We're starting to loop in on ourselves, but that's okay. As long as they're only approaching me generally from one angle and not the loop, then we're good. There we go. Okay. Handful more. Oh boy, that's a lot of bubble buddies. Unfortunately, they've got longer range than I do. Yeah, we're not gonna win this one either. That blows. It's just too much, too much damage, too many enemies. And I ain't scaling nearly hard enough to offset it. Because, yeah, look at that. I don't have the firepower to cope. Okay. 
see if I can herd some bullets here. There we go. Okay. We got it. Surprisingly. Duh. Nope. Unfortunately, there's a little bit of a spread on my gun. Wait, what is this? Ed Talks. It doesn't say. Formula 1 out of 7. Like, the worst part is, like, I clear an area out. There we go. No, it ain't that one. Oh, this is bad. Whoop. I... Seriously? Oh, well, we cleared it out. I was tough. Okay, Agent Evolution. So, I have mines, expand adrenaline bar. Or more damage. Let's go with the uh, bigger damage. Okay, and let's try this one next. Yeah, so I'm way less accurate than I used to be. That was only a minus 8% accuracy, but... Boy, it feels... Way worse than that. Okay, stay away from the toxic gas. Yeah, so I think I've got to stop going for the large ones. I don't think they're as worth it. Okay, it's just greys. Not so bad yet. <laughs> this is really awkward. Okay. Well, despite the absolute loss of accuracy, I'm really appreciating the firepower. Okay, somewhere in here. Yeah, I figure with the amount of tissue destruction I'm going through, like it would cause some serious issues. Whoop. Yeah, so oranges are berserkers. If I hit them, they get real mad. All right, we're making progress. Took a bit of doing, but still. Okay. Next infected cell destroyed generates proteins. Proteins have no ability to move slowly. Regenerates every four sane cells destroyed. Add health. Or just metabolism. Curious about protein hack. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a shot. Okay. Let's go with this one. Okay. There we go. I mean, it looks like it works. I didn't see the proteins. Unless the proteins specifically are affecting the the enemies. Like, it effectively slows enemies down. I wonder if it is. Could be.
Let's see. I don't know. Oh. Surprise bubblers. And we're good. Yeah, I want to get more things that affect my shots more than anything else. Oh. Interesting. Those might be connected. So metabolism. Expand the fire range. Or fire antibody seekers. Let's go with that. Fire range is interesting, but seekers sound fun. Okay, let's go with this one. It's a bit dense. Okay. Oh, that's the Seekers. Whoop. Yep. There we go. Got another one of those. Yeah, the Seekers will help, I think. Quite a lot, actually. There we go. And we're done. Alright, I'm getting the hang of this. It's that first couple of stages they get real dicey. Okay, expand the adrenaline far or range? Let's go with range. This might mean chaos, but that's okay. This one's at 41%, but it's very small. Okay, there we go. I'll have to pay attention. Some of these regions might get kind of spooky. But it doesn't look like I have to do all of them, either. There we go. I'm becoming sufficiently powerful enough that I, can, I actually have a chance at victory. News to me. It's definitely going to take some effort in doing. Wait for it to properly cool down. There we go. Whoop. It's okay. I had a shield. Okay. And these guys are pretty basic. Was that the... That must have been the proteins. So I think on the regular, it, instead of spawning as they normally would, I get really weak varieties instead. Ow. Nope. Hit my shield. Yeah, so I have a recharging shield of some variety. Okay. It's kind of a weird, almost fuzz your eyes out so you can see what you're doing situation. There we go. Because, yeah, there's so much going on, and it's not like any one direction is... Oh, boy. Safer than the others. Ow. Unfortunately, those toxic gas cloud guys, I think, are probably the worst enemy for me to have to fight. I mean, the speed... The speed machines are obnoxious just because... But the toxic gas cloud ones really do just trap me, and it's just like, well, how do I even deal with this? Oh, boy.
Okay, next infected cell generates proteins. I'm curious if I got a second one. Inhibitor cell, viruses sleep for three seconds on revival. Shield shoots and warps are deactivated during sleep. Or virus can't detect agent even if it's out of view. Samples can be validated even with active virus. I'm not sure what that means. I want to try another protein hack though. What if I got two of them? Okay, how much do I hate myself? I do. Yeah, I've got two protein hacks. So, that's actually really helpful. Wow, that stinking blows. Like I said, the, uh, the poison dudes are kind of turdsly. I think I'll be okay, though. Yeah, there we go. At least for this region. 3% was not worth much. Yeah, it looks like every time I clear us an area... Let's see, fire bouncing... Oh. Okay, so bouncing basophiles all over the place. Digest small molecules and repel the bigger ones. I'm just going to do that. I have no idea what vaccine cost leads to. I'm, assu I'm assuming it's just like a score thing. I might also just be reaching my maximum. Boy, those teeth are really infected. Do we? I mean, we're going to have to go for one of the bigger stages. Let's go with this one. It seems like it has a lot of open space to begin with. Okay. There we go. I mean... It seems to be working for me. I've got a lot more firepower than I did previously. And the ability to just turn enemies into proteins is kind of huge. Okay. There we go. Unfortunately, it only recharges on sane cell destruction, question mark? Okay, that's the teleporting variety, not the gas cloud variety. So we're kind of okay. There we go. Yeah, it just got... It just got eaten by the Basophile. It looks like they only work against the uh, smaller boys. But I think they also block bullets and a couple other things. Which works really well for me. Yeah, look at it. Yeah, they just capture the little guys. That's huge. Because that lets me focus on what I need to focus on as opposed to anything else. Unfortunately, my accuracy is so piss poor that they're not really that helpful. Okay, I'm just going to keep my distance from that. I guess the toxic gas cloud enemies are only really a big, big concern. In, uh, in small maps, they're not particularly dangerous around here. I guess close quarters maps. It's just, it's just basic proteins. Gosh, and we still have so much left. But we're clearing out a, a decent chunk of this area. Okay. Oh, I almost ate bubbles. Oh, that's the other benefit of the basophiles. I haven't even really acknowledged. 
the basophiles specifically uh, just stop enemies from advancing. There we go. It's so effective. I love it. I'm digging the extra options on level up that this faction specifically gives me. Let's see. Oh boy. I mean, it's fine. I've got more than enough fire firepower and fire rate to keep most of them off of me. Yeah, we're good. Okay. It's definitely that one. Just a matter of getting it. And actually, I, I was kind of bemoaning how inaccurate the basophiles are, but that actually helps. I... Mainly just because anything... Well, a number of the enemies like to kind of spread out a little bit when they're coming to attack me. They're not the most direct. But having the basophiles to specifically kind of ward them off is big. Okay, keep distance. I'll get rid of that. I don't... Oh, there he is. I was like, I know there's there's got to be another enemy here. I just do not know where. There we go. And it's just proteins. Dang, there's going to be nothing left. I, I feel like at the end of this, it's going to be like... Yeah, by the way, the... Uh, the drug that you made is, uh... It's so aggressive, it just kills people. I mean, sure, it gets rid of the disease, but it is, uh... It's a gnarly sucker. I feel like that's going to send the wrong message about vaccines. And just medicine in general. Oh boy. Oh, it's the invisible. Actually, you know what? That's fine. I can work with the invisibilities. Get nommed, fool. There we go. There it goes. Oh! And these are the teleporting variety, so I gotta be a little careful. They don't exactly teleport on top of me, and it takes them a little bit to start moving. But if I'm going high speeds, I am going to run into them. Okay. There we go. Oop. There we go. Mostly. Yeah, we're good. I almost feel like I could take on a couple of groups at once here. Just to finish this region off. It definitely... It definitely takes a while. Oh, wow, yeah, I haven't even taken a hit in this region. So start small. Get a couple of upgrades, then start going big. Because... The way the difficulty curve works, you don't really want to be fighting this many enemies in small spaces. But big spaces, not a big deal. There we go. Like, I almost kind of feel like there should be a rating for just how aggressive you are at clearing out these zones versus precise. And maybe there is. You know, maybe that's going to be the, the reveal at the end that it's just like, holy crap, you're a terrible piece of medicine. Oh, good. Invincible toxic dudes. Well, not that invincible. There we go. And it looks like the... It looks like the bubbles will absorb an enemy regardless. There we go.
not so bad. Oh, gosh. They do have a habit of sneaking up on me. Okay. Yeah, I know there's one more bubbler, but this environment is so dang big. There he is. It's actually becoming a little harder to find him. Oh, I wonder if you just fail the area if you kill all of the sane cells. There it is. Oop. Okay, this is bad. They're teleporting gas clouds with potential invisibility. Oh, that's a gnarly combo. I think I'm just going to engage spin to win protocols. Are we good? There we go. Woo! Oh, I see. Progress is based entirely on... Progress is based on how much healthy stuff you left behind. That makes sense. Okay. Well, that's cool. Unfortunately, we're only at 50%, and I think we're at a good stopping point. Biggest issue that I'm also seeing is just... Oh, yeah, there's the efficiency and side effects. So, yeah, the more I destroy, the worse it is for me overall. So, I really shouldn't be attacking too much of the innocent cells. If I want to go... Or innocent. The sane cells. If I want to go... Uh, well, fast. If I want to clear this fast, I have to protect them. Makes sense, and I'm sure somebody's been screaming at me this entire video uh, saying exactly that. That said, I it's a tough roguelike. Like, it... It does not pull punches, especially early on. So, to some degree, I kind of had to go through that experience, at least for the first run. Unfortunately, I was going to turn the rest of this into a bit of a slog, and I might have to clear every level, and that's going to be tough. So, it'd almost be better for me to just call it here, say good enough, and then come back to this later, probably when it hits Steam. I love the idea of the upgrade system. It makes a lot of sense. I wish it front-loaded at least one of them to help you deal with certain levels, but really, you just, you just got to beat a level... Uh... You just got to beat one level once, and then you're good to go. I think I might also consider playing as the people that get 5% progress with every uh, area I complete, even if I fail. Because that would get me 15, 25... I'd almost be done if I had picked them. And the upgrades that I picked were actually really good. But I feel like I could probably do fine with less variety. Maybe. I don't know. Either way, uh, with all this said... This is a neat little game. It's available on itch.io for six bucks uh, if you want to try this yourselves. And it looks like... Are they still developing it? That was the 1.1b patch log. So I'm actually... I'm curious if they're going to be adding more to this or not. I mean, updated an hour ago. Uh, okay, so yeah, Metafax came out yesterday on itch.io. So I'm... I'm really curious if they're planning on doing more with this and potentially expanding to Steam or not. I don't know, but at the same time, for a cute little twin-stick shooter roguelike with an interesting little Minesweeper twist, it's it's a neat idea, and I, I think I'm going to send this to my dad. I can't imagine he'll be interested in the gameplay, but, I mean, he does this stuff for a living, so it's kind of... <laughs> I feel like he'd enjoy just the concept of it, at least. Uh, but anywho, with all of that said, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know, and if you want to see more, hit subscribe, because I'm amenable to potentially probably doing another run of this, uh, at least now, well, not now, but you know, at least at some point, or we just come back at a much later date and see how much it's improved. But for now, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.